Hello? No, I'm not giving you my credit card information. <laughs> Listen, welcome to the special edition of In Focus TV Online. What are we talking about? We got a good one for you. Scammers. Why? Because this is a state that scammers just love. Florida. And get this, the number one target, millennials. In this episode, we're gonna help you with some eye-opening statistics that might affect you and your family, what scammers are doing, and how you can protect you and your loved ones. FPL also has joined us to talk about how some scammers try different schemes on customers. One of these techniques is called spoofing, where they would send a uh, communication from an unknown source and mask the origin of the source so that on your end, your call ID, your email, uh, it would appear to be a legitimate contact from the utility company, such as FPL. If you receive a suspicious call or visit, if it's an email or a text, delete it. You know, FPL will never call you threatening to disconnect you um, and asking for an immediate payment with a prepaid card or a wire transfer, nor will we solicit your personal information unless it's you who initiate, you know, the call to us first. Business uh, customers need to be very vigilant. Let's say, for example, a restaurant who receive a call from a scammer uh, who threatens to disconnect the service if payment is not made within the hour. And sometimes they may even threaten that uh, there's someone in a truck right outside or on their way to disconnect the service. If that's the case, we urge you to contact us online at our website or our mobile app. You can check your account balance and your account status to verify uh, if a payment is needed. And then we offer tons of different uh, free payment options that are available uh, to our customers. Uh, we don't solicit payments from only uh, prepaid cards and wire transfers. That's why we have a lot of information, tons of information on our website at fpl.com forward slash protect. And this is to educate customers so that they can know what is going on so that should they ever receive an unsolicited uh, scam call or contact that they know what to do and that they are prepared. The problem is apparently so bad that the state recently launched an initiative called Fraud Free Florida. And that initiative is to encourage the public to report scams and swindles. Thanks for having FPL on. We appreciate this opportunity to educate customers on the different scams that are out there and how to protect yourself. Back to you, Ismael. Now we have to be vigilant year round but especially during the holiday season when we're out shopping about or even shopping online. See, a lot of our credit card information is out there, so it's important for us to pay close attention to the websites that we visit and of course the places and spaces where we shop. We wanna say a special thanks to FPL and LNG for providing this vital information. Make sure that you tune in next time in Focus TV. See you soon.